Hi, I'm Chef Jonathan Collins, and as a professional chef, I'm always on the lookout for high-quality ingredients produced by people I can trust. Food safety, responsible animal care, and traceability are important to my guests, family, and friends, and an integral part of my menu planning. Verified Canadian Pork is locally farmed, federally approved, and nationally distributed by Canadian farmers and processors who take a great deal of pride in the food they bring to the world's table. Pork ribs are so easy to get right, and if you have a look at this beautiful cut of pork, you can see why they taste so good. It's all of that beautiful fat, and of course, with bone in, you get all of that additional flavor. This Szechuan honey spare rib recipe is both heat and sweet. You are going to love it. I'm gonna start by separating the ribs, and it's really easy to do. All you have to do is just follow the bone, making sure to keep enough meat on both sides so that you have a really nice, well-rounded rib. Just simply follow down the bone, separate, and that is what you're going to serve. With the ribs separated, I'm gonna give them a good rub with Chinese five spice. Some star anise, cinnamon, cloves, fennel, and Szechuan pepper. Just before I do, I'm gonna get my heavy bottom cast iron pan on the stove top with a couple tablespoons of grapeseed oil and get it up to temperature so it's ready to saute. Now to the fun part. A good liberal dusting of this Chinese five spice. As soon as that hits the heat, that fragrance is going to fill the kitchen. So I get it on top and now a gentle rub, getting all of that flavor together. The great thing about sauteing the ribs is that I'll start to develop the flavor, but I also toast the spices, bringing them to life. Saute in batches so that you get everything crisped up nicely. Start with that presentation side down, getting those spices to toast up nicely. Carefully turn the ribs, making sure to saute all sides to develop flavor. My kitchen is filled with the fragrance of that toasted five spice. Now I want to put together a simple marinade that won't get wasted. It's going to turn into that sticky, gooey sauce that it's served with. I'm going to start with some orange zest, which has great aroma because it captures all that incredible orange oil. And then I'll use the juice as well. I'll use this same zester to break down some nicely peeled fresh garlic. Just these two ingredients alone are so fragrant and are really gonna give some good flavor. Let's keep building. A couple tablespoons of some fragrant clover honey. Look at that golden, golden sweetness. And three tablespoons of brown sugar. Now to balance out that sweetness, some hoisin. Look at that, oh, beautiful and soy. Some rice wine. Now I'll add the orange zest and that beautiful garlic. Press that in. And to finish it up, the orange juice. So the orange juice, making sure no seeds, the orange juice is gonna give some nice acidity, but also sweetness. A pinch of pepper, if you like a little extra heat. Bring this together until it's fully incorporated and smooth. Completely coat with the marinade, turning it over a couple times, and just leave it in the marinade, in the refrigerator, for about an hour. Nestle the ribs in the bottom of the pan, completely covering with that beautiful marinade and then so it braises and all of that fat melts nicely into the pan. Add just enough water to barely cover. Put the lid on and simmer on the stovetop for approximately two hours. Now that all these incredible flavors have melted together, my Szechuan honey sauce has reduced to perfection. This is ready to go to the table. The Chinese five spice has brought these ribs to life. The texture is so beautiful and the flavor is amazing. And it's so nice because as you cook, you develop a perfect sauce to serve it with.